Two U.S. warships have sailed close to islands claimed by China in the disputed South China Sea, a move that could negatively impact ongoing trade talks between the two economic superpowers. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, what's the latest? Well, Mark, the USS Spruance and USS Preble conducted what the U.S. Navy called a freedom of navigation operation within 22 kilometers of the Spratly Islands on Monday. A spokesman for the 7th Fleet said the mission was conducted in order to challenge excessive maritime claims and preserve access to the waterways as governed by international law. Such exercises have often been carried out by the U.S. Navy and have been the cause of diplomatic tensions between Washington and Beijing. China's foreign ministry uh, issued an angry response. Relevant activities at the U.S. warships violated China's sovereignty and damaged peace, security and good order in relevant waters. China expresses firm opposition and dissatisfaction to this. The spokesperson also demanded the U.S. stop what she called its provocative actions, adding the country will take necessary actions to protect state sovereignty. Beijing's warning came as officials from both sides were in the Chinese capital for a new round of trade talks this week. It remains to be seen if Monday's operation will impact those negotiations. China claims most of the energy-rich South China Sea, as do several of its neighbors, including the Philippines, Vietnam and Taiwan. China's claim was largely discredited by an international uh, arbitration tribunal three years ago, but Beijing has rejected the ruling. The Chinese ministry has, uh, military rather, has since bolstered its presence in the region, deploying military hardware and other defense systems.